39, and his guitar playing is known all over the world. And he has a new album coming out in January that features the likes of Mark Knopfler and Ricky Skaggs. Say hello to the legendary Tommy Emanuel. Good Tommy, morning. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Thanks Mike. So Thanks much for, for having coming. us. It's been about six years since we've seen you. Yeah, but, uh, well, I've still got some hair and I've still got some teeth, so everything's all right. <laughs> and you can still play that guitar, no, I'm buddy. working on it. So yeah. for someone who, you know, you're unique, your style's a little bit different. How did you kind of find your style when it came to the guitar? Well, I, I think I started out as a rhythm player for my, my, my brother. And then when I was about seven, I heard Chet Atkins on the radio. And I could hear he was playing everything at once. And uh, most people said, oh, it's a recording trick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's them damn Yankees. Don't <laughs> take any notice of it. And, uh, and, but I could hear he was playing everything at once. And I, and I just knew that that's the sound I was looking for. I had to go chasing that sound, you know. And, uh, and so... I started, I started working out tunes and tr trying to figure out how to get this technique going. Right. It's basically like playing the piano on the guitar. You've got, you've got uh, like, uh, uh. so you're spelling out the bass note right. and you're playing the chords like that with your thumb and then with your fingers you play the melodies and harmonies like this. As Frank Sinatra would say, nothing to it, folks. <laughs> but you, you use the whole guitar because you've been banging yeah. on it and you do it. Oh, yeah, abs absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, as soon as I got this particular guitar, I, I took a screwdriver and scratched it all up there. And people are like, why would you do that? Well, I, 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 I want to make that sound. That's the sound of, of someone playing brushes. Then with my left hand, I play the bass part. Look at that. And then I sing over the top of that, you know. Okay. So, uh, well, now I'm you're driving the cameraman crazy here, swapping <laughs> around. No, you're great. <laughs> so let's talk about Accomplice One. It's coming out in January. You got yeah. a lot of big, big names on this thing. It's been a labor of love, that's for sure. It's been two years uh, making this album. It's all duets with other artists, and I was just so fortunate. People like uh, Mark, M Mark Knopfler brought a, a really good song to the album. And, um, and we recorded that in his studio in, in London. R um, Ricky Skaggs came in and we played a couple of instrumental tunes and he played mandolin. Um, and then um, I, I taught him a, an Australian song which ended up on the album. It's a nice vocal song called Song and Dance Man. Um, Rodney Crowell and I got together to, uh, I was working on his album mm -hmm. and, and I said, I'm doing an album with, with, with features other artists um, and do you have any songs? That, that, and and he, he played me three different songs and I chose the one that I like. It's called I'm Looking Forward to the Past. All right. And uh, so there's a lot of good stuff on there. There's instrumentals, vocals, uh, there's a bit of everything. I know we're going to be down to Kalamazoo tonight at the State Theater. Kalamazoo, we've got the Christmas show there tonight. You go. Classics and Christmas. What are you going to do for us this morning? Uh, well, I thought I'd play Merle Travis's Saturday Night Shuffle. It's a great piece and um, on the album, it, it features Yorma Kalkinen from uh, Jefferson Airplane and Pat Bergeson playing harmonica, who's on this tour with me. Very so, good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Emanuel. <laughs> Thank you, Mike.